Hi there everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today in this video, we will learn about finite state machines, FSM, DFSM, problems on DFSM. Finite state machines. FSM is a computational device whose input is a string, and output is one of two values, accept or reject. Basically there are two types of FSM. First one is deterministic finite state machine DFSM, also known as DFA. Second one is non-deterministic finite state machine NDFSM or NFA. So now let's have a short overview on what actually a machine is. FSM is a machine, it is designed based on the language defined. In short, for a given language L, we design a machine so that, we can give input W which is string, now machine will take input and process it, then it gives either, accept or reject as output. Let's understand this with a simple example. Consider an example, L is the language, consists of W with 0 and 1, having a definition W ends with 0. Look at the first diagram, 010010 as input, it is accepted by the machine, as it satisfies the definition. But when we give 001001 as input, machine will reject as it is fails to satisfy the definition. Deterministic FSM DFSM is a quintuple M. Consists of K, Sigma, Delta, S, and A. Where K is a finite set of states. Sigma is the input belongs to alphabet set. S belongs to K, which is the start state. There will be only one start state. A is a subset of K which is the set of accepting states. Delta is the transition function. Let's understand the notations used for transition diagram. First one is state. It is represented by a circle. It is named as Q0, or any conventional name. Transitions are represented by arrow. Starting state is represented by an arrow over the circle. Finally accepting state are represented by double circles. That is any state which is having double circle is considered as accepted state. Next is, valid rules for designing a DFSM. We have six example, let's see one by one. Consider alphabet set containing 0 and 1. So let's see first one. Here we have Q0 as start state and Q1 as accepting state. Here when Q0 encounter 0, the transition will go to Q1 state. This is valid. Next, here Q0 on 0 or 1 will make a transition to Q1 state. This type of representation is also valid. Another way of representing or is shown in third example. Next move on to fourth example, this kind of representation says the same thing. We can represent it like this also by using two arrows. Then in fifth example you can observe the union symbol, this kind of representation is also valid. Finally, observe this example. Here the starting state itself represents as accepting state on self loop up on 0 or 1. So these are all the valid rules for defining a DFSM. Next move on to invalid rules of defining a DFSM. Here also we consider the same example. As you can see here, transition occurs from Q0 to Q1 on no occurrence of symbol. This kind of representation is not valid. These are rejected by machine. In the second example there is no accepting state. This is also invalid. Because it must contain at least one accepting state also one start state. In the third example, 
Here transition occurs for the combination of two alphabet set. This is not accepted. Transition must occur for single symbol. Any combination is not accepted. Very importantly, for a given state, there cannot be multiple transition for same symbol. This is not valid in DFSM. So now let's solve some problems on languages on designing a DFSM. Let's look at the problem 1. Consider the language L, made up of strings W belongs to alphabet set 0 and 1, defined as W contents 0. Now to start designing a DFSM, let's follow a simple approach which will help you to understand and solve easily. First start with the simplest string which is accepted by language. Then make sure that all the valid string according to the language must be accepted. Finally make sure that only valid strings are accepted. It must reject all the invalid string. Let's see the solution. Here which is the simplest string which is acceptable? That is zero. Itself is the simplest string which is acceptable by the machine according to language. To design transition diagram, we always start the transition diagram with the starting state Q0. Now Q0 upon 0 will make a transition to accepting state Q1. Now one question for you, why Q0 will itself not act as accepting state? Because as we explained in our previous video, if we give epsilon as input, it is string of length 0. It doesn't contain 0. The definition of language will not satisfy dot so it does not act as accepting state. Next we have to make sure all valid string are acceptable. So assume a string, first we get 0, then if we get multiple 1 or multiple 0, it remains in the Q1 state, because it already contains 0. So any combination form here will satisfy the language. Finally make sure it only contains valid string. That is, what if we get only one or multiple ones? Then it is not satisfy the definition so it will remain on Q0 state. So this is how you have to design a DFSM. Now let's see the five tuples. First one is K, is number of states. Here we have only two states, Q0 and Q1. Sigma is the alphabet set, here we have 0 and 1. Next is S, which is starting state, that is Q0. Then A, it is a subset of K, containing only accepting state. Here we have only one accepting state that is Q1. Finally we have, transition function, it is basically a set represents various transition. Here Q0 upon 1, the transition will remain on Q0 itself. Then Q0 on encountering 0 will make transition to Q1 state. Next Q1 upon 0, remain on Q1, and Q1 upon 1 also remain in Q1 state. So this is how we define transition function for DFSM. We will consider one more problem. L is the language. Made up of W string with the alphabet set 0 and 1, having a definition of language, that W ends with 0. According to the language, which is the simplest string, that is 0, so Q0 upon 0 will make transition to accepting state Q1, since it ends with 0. Next make sure that all valid strings are acceptable. So now what if we have string with multiple zero? So we apply self loop to Q1 state. So at any occurrence of zero it will remain in accepted state. Next take one case. What if we have string one? Then it is not accepted right. So we apply self loop to Q0 upon one. Finally make sure only valid string are acceptable. So one more case, what if we get starting 0, we reached Q1 state, then if we have 1, what should be done? So we will make transition from Q1 to Q0 upon 1. 
so any string ending with 1, will go to non-accepting state. Now let's see the 5 tuples. First one is k, is number of states. Here we have only two states, q0 and q1. Sigma is the alphabet set, here we have 0 and 1. Next is s, which is starting state, that is, q0. Then a, it is a subset of k, containing only accepting state. Here we have only one accepting state that is q1. Finally we have, transition function. It is basically a set, represents various transition. Here q0 upon 1, the transition will remain on q0 itself. Then q0 on encountering 0 will make transition to q1 state. Next q1 upon 0, remain on q1 itself, and q1 upon 1 will go to q0, that is non-accepting state. Let's try one more problem. In DFSM, we have two types, that is complete FSM, and incomplete FSM. Now see this problem, you will get to know. L is the language, made up of string W, of alphabet set 0 and 1, having definition that W starts with 0. Now to design DFSM, what is the simplest string which is acceptable, 0 right? Because it starts with 0 no? So Q0 upon 0 will go to accepting state Q1. Now make sure all the valid string is accepted. Once it starts with 0, then it is valid right? For any combination. So we have to remain in Q1 state for any further 0 or 1. So we will apply self loop for Q1 upon 0 or 1. Next make sure only valid strings are acceptable. What if the string is 1? or starts with 1, it should reject it, right? So q0 upon 1 will go to a state which is non-acceptable state, so we will name it d, dead state, you can name it q2 also, so for now we call it d. What if we have a string 100, since it already start with 1, it fails to satisfy description, so it will remain in dead state or non-acceptable state. So this is an example for complete FSM. Please note down, if a machine don't know what to do with particular string if it not defined, it will reject it. We will get clear understanding on this in few minutes. So now let's see the five tuples. First one is K, is number of states. Here we have only three states, Q0, Q1 and D. Sigma is the alphabet set. Here we have 0 and 1. Next is S, which is starting state, that is, Q0. Then A, it is a subset of K, containing only accepting state. Here we have only one accepting state that is Q1. Finally we have, transition function. It is basically a set, represents various transition. Here Q0 upon 0. The transition will go to Q1 state, next Q1 upon 0, the transition will remain in Q1 state. Q1 upon 1, the transition will remain in Q1 state, then Q0 upon 1 will go to dead state or non-accepting state D, the D upon 0 or 1 remain in D itself. So this is how we define transition function for this DFSM problem. So we look at the same problem to understand what is in complete FSM. Same thing goes here. But here we not define what should a machine do, when it encounter one, so it will automatically reject that type of string which start with one. This incomplete FSM is also valid, but we go more with complete FSM in this course for better understanding. So now let's see the five tuples. First one is k, is number of states. Here we have only two states, q0, q1. Sigma is the alphabet set. Here we have 0 and 1. Next is s, which is starting state, that is, q0. Then a, it is a subset of k, containing only accepting state. Here we have only one accepting state that is q1. Finally we have, 
transition function. It is basically a set, represents various transition. Here Q0 upon 0, the transition will go to Q1 state, next Q1 upon 0, the transition will remain in Q1 state. Q1 upon 1, the transition will remain in Q1 state. Here we have less transition function compared to complete FSM. So that's all for this video. In the upcoming session we will solve few more problems. Until then please like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.